Hey Bratz, welcome back to the channel and today I want to say a humongous thank you. One of our subscribers, Dan Hawley, had decided that he loves us and he wanted to go on the Amazon list that we've got and buy something for the channel. He ordered us the Kiwi V2. So this is a VR cable management solution similar to what I reviewed in videos before, but this is their newer design. It's supposedly quieter, less tug, Basically, it's supposed to improve on everything from the original. Dan Holly, thank you so much for sending this to the channel. I was so excited. Uh, I had I had seen some Kiwi stuff, commented, and kind of contacted them a little here and there. They didn't want to offer to send us anything. It seemed like uh, Kiwi, come on. It's probably because I ripped them apart for some uh, terrible hand grips they made in another video. Well, if you make a bad product, it's gonna happen. But hopefully this is gonna be a great product because I really like their original cable management solution. So as you can see, it took a little beating in the mail, but I'm guessing the contents are still just fine. V2 silent VR cables. I feel like that's a heavy accusation to be laying on these, but we're gonna find out together. Just like the original system, you get these glue sticky hook on the wall hooks. These are amazing, except when you go to take these off. You will not get these off without damaging your walls, most likely. So keep that in mind. If you're in a place where you're not supposed to be tearing up your walls, these may not be the best solution for you. This is new. I have no idea what the heck this is. The same screw-in wall hooks that they give you with the original version. An Allen wrench to adjust the clasps. And quite the thick user manual this time. This is... This is a lot of user manual, I would like to know. So there's one round direction connector. Interesting. So I'm gonna have to read up real quick because I don't know what the heck that's for. That is unique. I wonder if you were supposed to do this with the original, I just never read it. Okay, so that ring hook is if you are doing room scale and you need to be able to move around your room. Hopefully you can kind of see this. So what you're supposed to do, let me, let me get some of these out, we'll make a quick demonstration. So first test here. Is it silent? No, it couldn't be. I wouldn't expect that. Is it much quieter than the original? Yes, much quieter. Because the original had it like ticking when you would pull it. Let me grab one. So here's an original. Hear that beautiful sound. Still a sound, but way quieter. Most likely you're not going to hear this when you have a headset on. And your microphone, if you're streaming or something, probably wouldn't pick this up either. So what this is for is you're supposed to hook up like three of these around and then you reach them over. This is hard to demonstrate holding all this. Basically all three of them would be hooked to this. So now you have a floating mount up above you and then only one of them would be hanging down to hold onto your cable directly above where you are. So that would mean you could move all around the room and the three that were in a triangular pattern here would be letting you move around the room without adding or pulling any tug. And you wouldn't just be pulling from one single one directly above you like normal. Cause normally I have this above me. So when I go over here, I'm noticing it pulling more than when I'm here. Kind of pulls you back to the space. So it's helpful in a small space. But they're saying if you had a really big area, you hook three of those up to this, you make a triangle out of them. And now you can move all around, which is really cool actually. I, uh, for a big room scale, I never thought of that. And that's a really smart idea. Kiwi, that right there is your selling point on this one for me. I like that they're quieter. I don't know that it provides less tug. I unfortunately don't have uh, a luggage scale anymore that I could pull this with, but I swear that's got more tug. Maybe this one's just old and worn out that I've been using it, but I would say that definitely is pulling harder than this one does. This one just sounds awful. Now, other details, this one looks really good. It doesn't, you know, this looks like you took a bunch of random parts and you put them together. And this piece I did put on here, so don't judge them for that. But this looks like you took a bunch of random parts. Put them together. This looks like this was specifically built for its purpose. It's got branding on it. It's got this soft hook on top. It's going to be quiet. It pulls. This part is interesting to me. So now instead of just giving you rubber bands, basically, now you've got this that you hook around it. You put your cable through there, you hook this and it's it's decently easy to clasp and unclasp. It's probably not as fast as my design that I do with one of these binder clips. I just hook it on my cable and I can move it quickly. But 
it's gonna put less tension on your cable probably even than my binder clips. It's got a nice soft rubber. This is a well thought out product. I will give Kiwi that. This looks like they really thought through their design from their original version and improved it pretty much in every way. And the only thing I like, there's like a little shock absorber here. So if you let go of this and it hits, it's gonna take some of that shock and help prevent wearing this thing out. I am impressed by these, mostly because of this though. That's a really, really smart idea. I'm actually a little angry at myself for never thinking of that with my other ones, but my studio space isn't huge. I really need a lot of mobility to move around it. But if you had a big room and you were doing full true room scale experiences where you walk all around the room, this with three of hooks could be a really good solution. So I'm very impressed by that. Well, the most important thing is how do these play? So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna replace all my current ones with these for now, hook these up instead, and then play a couple of games and see how they feel, what we think, get back to you with my final thoughts. All right, it is time we are gonna set up these new Kiwi hooks. I'm hoping not to have to put a whole bunch of new hooks in my ceiling because I've already got a bunch from the pre-existing Kiwi setups. I'm hoping to mostly just pull those down and set these up in their place. We're gonna go ahead and try their included wire attachment that wraps around instead of trying to hook on. Typically I hook on these, these little binder clips to grab, but we're gonna try these instead and see how they work. See if maybe from now on, these new Kiwis, you don't have to mess with them. You can just use what they send you. So I'm gonna replace all these. I'm gonna try to hook up that three-way hook I showed you guys. So hopefully that's gonna go up here and then hopefully that'll give me a little bit of mobility to move around without feeling like it's constantly tugging on my head. Again, got to be careful because I don't want to get to where I'm going to be punching the walls and break my controller. So let's replace these all real quick. And always use a step stool. You can't see it, but it's a step stool. Don't ever be tempted to use your gaming chair or some kind of swivel chair. There was way too many amazing fail videos online of people trying to use a swivel chair and falling to their doom. So use the right tool for the job. Can I have a whole bunch of these left? One thing I might miss about these that I might transfer over, so these clips right here, these are a little more permanent. So if you hook them into the included ball hooks, so instead of just putting these over them like this, like you're supposed to, if you actually run this piece through the inside like that, then if you pull these things down, you let them go, they don't tend to go flying across the room. So I may pull some of these, for these ones specifically and hook them on that way if i'm done with my cable and i let go it doesn't go flying off so it does have these shock absorbers so i'm going to try those first and see maybe those shock absorbers will take enough of the shock but if i do let these go from a little ways away they won't be flying we'll find out so this right here is a very small scale version of the actual idea of how this is supposed to work so basically, this one right here would pull down to my headset, and then this should give mobility to where I can move forward, backward, without this thing pulling me all over the place. Because traditionally with this old setup, you only have one hook in the middle, and that hook would always be pulling you back. So this would mean that you can set this up in your play area in such a way that if I wanted to be able to move from over here to over here, this wouldn't be tugging on my head the whole time. It would give me pretty well full mobility, at least side to side. So what I'm gonna try and do, I'm probably gonna move two of the hooks further to the sides, because as you can see, I have a lot of have a lot of sideways movement here, but I don't have a lot of back and forth. Ideally, I'm gonna move the hooks out to where I'm still not gonna be able to get very close to the wall without feeling a tug, but to where I can use my play space from side to side here and actually be able to move around quite a bit. So after much experimenting, I am going with the triangular setup with the hooks on the sides that I have the most mobility to move the farthest out. So one thing about this, I will say, in theory, this seems like an absolutely great idea. And that's because in theory, you look at this right now and you think, yeah, this is gonna be able to move all the way around really freely and easily. Well, one problem that they're not factoring in to the final product is when you're also pulling on this part, now that comes down, and that tension from this pulling down makes this have a lot less freedom. So it still is more freedom than you would normally have with just one hook, but it's not gonna go, wanna go all the way to those other hooks with it like that. So better, but it's still not the perfect solution you would kind of imagine where this would stay up here and it would just freely move around up here because of that extra tension. So something to keep in mind, it's still a really cool setup. We gotta test it out in some games. So 
I'm gonna pop a headset on, hook up all the cables, and mess around in some gaming. Now I'm not gonna activate my green screen like I normally would, because I wanna still give you plenty of room to see me moving and playing, and I want you to be able to tell from the perspective of how does the room look around with the green screen. So you get the full wide angle here, you'll be able to see, is this actually giving me the mobility to move around more? Or really, are we just gonna end up with a setup where all our other hooks are slowing us down again and keeping us from being able to move? So let's find out. Yep, so that right there, adding, adding one more hook to hold the cable up and out of the way has really screwed up this. I think this this cable system is great as far as an actual cable system go. I think this three-way hook is a little better in theory than in actual use so far. So we're still gonna mess around and find out, but I definitely I'm seeing a lot more flaws in the in the final product than I was hoping from the presentation. So so far I've gotta say this definitely feels way better than their old cable system. Are you bad? Okay, I guess you are bad. Maybe if it moves, I'm just gonna shoot it. It definitely already, I feel like I've got a lot more freedom to move around. Like it definitely feels a lot less like there's a cable. But yeah, I definitely have a bit of freedom to move. And it's also nice because once you get out of the zone, you do start to notice that it's pulling you back. Yeah. So far, I would say this is, this is at least 50% better than the old, the old Kiwi system. Because like, I really am not noticing the cable when I move around, like I used to all the time. Yeah, a game like this is way more enjoyable when you don't feel your cable constantly tugging at your head. Because a lot of times a game like this, what would happen is I would, be playing and I wouldn't dodge or duck as much as I should because I felt like I felt it start to pull and I would I would pull back on it and then I would die. Rockets. Oh, homing rockets. Oh god. It definitely has less tug like they said because when I drop like this, I don't I can't even tell that it's pulling any harder. Like I could drop to the floor and I don't notice it. Oh gosh. It's only my face I have to dodge with, right? Not my body. Okay, this is getting intense. Oh yeah. A game like this is way better, I must say, with this with this cable management system. And I can even move across the room and feel really good about how I'm moving. One thing about this system, I will say, it feels almost too free, like I'm a little freaked out that I'm gonna get into some trouble and punch the wall here. So that's definitely, that's a good thing. That means it's immersive enough and it's freeing enough that I feel like I have no cable holding me back. That is still a vast improvement, vast improvement over the original Kiwi system. And although this part doesn't work quite like we hoped it would, you don't get free movement to just walk around your room, especially if you have other hooks holding it on. Even though you don't have that, it still works really well. Uh, you don't feel the tug anymore. Like only once I start to get over here where I'm actually gonna get in trouble, do I start to feel a tug? So that's good. That's actually keeping me where I should be. And then back or forth. I could definitely walk right up to my desk and get myself into trouble there. So I'll have to be careful of that, but definitely a huge improvement. Not quite what I was hoping for up here. What I'm thinking I might try is I might take the other three hooks and do like one more set up like this over here. I might have to use some of the old hooks to pull that off, but I think that if I had basically two of these swivel setups instead of one swivel setup and several hooks holding it and several hooks holding it over here because these hooks 
aren't giving me much mobility when I move around. See, it starts to pull on the actual cable. I think if I have one more swivel setup over here to hold it out of the way, I think this would work really well. So, all right, one last test here. So whenever you're done, for me, I have to switch out different VR headsets and stuff. So I always take these back off. Now, the one nice thing, this one, since it's hooked up to all these, you don't have to worry about letting go of this one and having it fly off the wall. But this one is the one I'm more curious about because ideally, yes, you should take this off and gently send it up there, but you're not gonna do that. You're gonna be lazy, you're gonna be tired. You're just gonna wanna let this go. So if I just let this go, that one was fine. I gotta say, having those rubberized hooks on top, so instead of them using metal like they did on this one, it's actually a rubber composite at the top. So having that rubber, it really seems to hang on a lot better. And then the shock absorber also helps it to not put a lot of pressure when you let go and doesn't come off as easily. <laughs> so it takes multiple attempts. Basically what has to happen is if this is tipped the way the hook is, then yeah, it's probably still gonna fall off, but it does seem better, still not it's still not never gonna fall off. So this cert, this particular one, I might put that metal hook back up there like I was saying to hold this on forever. So. Let me know what you think. If you've played around with the Q1, especially the new one, I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. I will see you in another reality.